Welcome to another episode of Gate City Chronicles. I'm Kevin Avard, your host, and today I'm joined with the Directors of Operations from Symphony, New Hampshire, Nick Adams. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Did I get that right? You did, a Director of Operations. Director of Operations, yes. well, and it's New Hampshire, It's Symphony, New Hampshire. Symphony, New Hampshire. Yeah, they changed that around just not too long ago. Yes, uh, two years ago we changed our name right. from Nashua Symphony to Symphony, New Hampshire. It's, I was amazed. You, you told me off camera that They've been around since the 20s. 1923 was our founding. Mm -hmm. Wow, I, I didn't think they were that old. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Wow. So uh, we have a, a little book up here. We do. And uh, this is going to be the highlight of our, our show here. Is This is an undergoing that you, uh, you took uh, recently. And mm -hmm. uh, basically, it's a fundraiser for the symphony. It is, yes. Mm -hmm. We're uh, uh, Essentially, it's, it's helping us uh, raise money for uh, our concerts, for our educational programs. A uh, little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the educational programs all about? Well, um, we, one of our big tenets of what we do is that we believe music is for everyone. And so we want to create an access point for uh, all levels of people, uh, for our, at concerts, uh, special events, but also for kids in the schools. And so we have a variety of educational programs that we have going on. Um, that uh, we frequently send uh, chamber music groups into the schools to perform uh, one hour long concerts. Uh, how, how does that go? It goes really well. Um, really? Because um, uh, music, like I said, every, it's, it's for everyone. And so you get a group of five or six musicians with charismatic personalities and they play for, for an hour with, um, with uh, elementary school kids and they're, they're just um, they're enamored. With, with what's going on. We, this past uh, spring, we sent a, a chamber music group into the schools to play Peter and the Wolf. And so it's a, it's a little piece of music that, uh, that, that uh, tells the story of Peter and the Wolf, and each instrument on stage represents one of the characters in the story. Oh, that's funny. And so it introduces the kids to the instruments, but wow. they hear melodies and they hear harmonies, and so uh, it's, it captures them. So that's, uh, that's what we're all about with our educational programs. And so... Um, uh, this book will help help make that happen. Interesting. Uh, is that expensive to, to do something like that? To have them? I mean, do you have to pay the, the musicians? Obviously, we there's do. some kind of expense mm -hmm. there. Uh, uh, symphony New Hampshire is the only fully professional symphony orchestra in New Hampshire. So each one of our musicians is paid uh, uh, a per-service rate uh, when they do, uh, do something for us. And so we're very proud of that. Uh, it's not... Uh, it's not easy to do, but it's something we're committed that, that we're fully professional, that everyone gets, all of our musicians get paid um, as professionals. And so uh, uh, expensive uh, to send a five-person group into the school is not terribly expensive, but you do it ten times and it, it starts to add up. So right. uh, the more we do it, the more expensive it, it now, gets. do they just cover the Nashua area? Do they go into other, other areas around the state? Uh, other areas around the state, not yet, but mm -hmm. we, do, uh, we do have have uh, a master plan that includes reaching out to other parts of the state. For now, it's the greater Nashua area. Um, Nashua, Hollis, Hudson, uh, Bedford, Merrimack, just the area around here. Tell, tell me a little history about this book here now. That it, there's some letters in there, and mm -hmm. each letter uh, represents something in, in, in Nashua. Mm -hmm. And uh, how, how did that, whose idea was that? Well, it's, it's interesting. Uh, in January of this year, my executive director, Eric Valier, he went to a, a winter conference with the League of American Orchestras. It's the, um, it's the, uh, the trade group for symphony orchestras. And so there was a little town in Kentucky called Paducah. And they have a symphony orchestra down there called the Paducah Symphony Orchestra. And um, the executive director was telling this great story about a fundraiser they did called P is for Paducah. And uh, it turns out it was a children's alphabet book. And uh, it, was, it, it became a really great... Um, community project. And, uh, and so Eric, my executive director, um, came back and we had a conversation and said, I think we can pull that off here. Mm. And so um, he said, Nick, I'd like you to run with the idea, put together a team. And, um, and here we are. We're in December and we have a book and it's for Nashua. Now people donated <laughs> pictures. Uh, you said there was one person, they, actually I like that picture. It, was, mm -hmm. it looked like a watercolor of downtown mm -hmm. Nashua. Yes. They didn't want to part with it, but they right. said you could use it. Sure. Now we, each letter is... Uh, um, is represented by an interesting fact about Nashua. And so all of those letters were picked by members of the community. Uh, in fact, the mayor was one of the, one of the people who sub submitted a, uh, an idea for a letter. Mm -hmm. And once we had those in place, we then um, we went after the artist and said, we're doing this book. We want to showcase uh, the best of Nashua's art. Um, here, here's the, here are the letters and the topics. 
give us your best shot. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so we ended up with um, a unique piece of art for each letter. Um, everything from photographs to watercolors to uh, we have an applique in there, uh, which is a kind of a, um, a, a textile work where uh, someone has sewn uh, patches onto, uh, onto uh, a cloth. We have a quilt uh, done by a quilter in the Picker Building. Uh, so it really runs the gamut of, of what artwork is, but I think that uh, that shows just the variety of what... How, how many people took an interest in this, in, oh. in, in becoming part of this? This is a close-knit town, as, as sure. big as it is, mm -hmm. it seems. Well, we had, uh, I believe, 80 or 90 people make submissions for letters, mm -hmm. and, which, uh, and some people would submit letters, uh, submit ideas for the entire alphabet. So 80 or 90 people submitted somewhere around 170 unique submissions for letters. From there, we probably had about 35 people uh, submit artwork. Um, we have uh, 26 sponsors for each letter. We have three major sponsors. Uh, and I'd be remi remiss in not uh, mentioning them, Chick-fil-A, um, Gray Cat Graphic Design, and uh, the Nashua Bank. They came alongside of us and really bolstered this project, which, uh, again, Nashua's a fantastic community for that sort of thing. It really is. And yeah. then, um, so uh, all told, I mean, I would say we have at least, uh, uh, while everyone isn't in the book, but we had a couple, uh, at least a couple hundred people working on this. Interesting. Now, they're, they're, you can buy this downtown mm -hmm. at a few uh, vendors, if you, can, if you don't mind mentioning oh, your name. I'd be happy to. I'd be happy to. Uh, of course, you can get it at the Symphony office. Uh, we're at 6 Church Street, just right next to the library. Um, and uh, it was also for sale on our website, symphonynh.org. Um, but we have five vendors that are downtown, uh, Beckonings, uh, Fort and Gage, Ichabana Flower, Sconces, and Collins Flowers all have agreed to, uh, to sell the book for us. And now, did you have a theme of going to the florist in town? Well, <laughs> we, um, uh, every year we do a holiday house tour, mm -hmm. and these are vendors that are already, were already selling tickets for us for the house tour, and um, people with whom we have a great relationship already. Right. It was just a, an, easy, an easy ask for these, for these folks. How many people are in the symphony? How big is this, this orchestra? Um, it could run, uh, depending on the piece, anywhere from a chamber symphony from probably 30 or 35 people. Now, when we bring the full orchestra, there's 70, 75 people on stage. That's, that's quite a sound. Mm -hmm. you, you always play at the Elm Street? Uh, Generally. Yeah. That's, that's where all of our Masterworks concerts are, where uh, your Beethoven, your Brahms, your Wagner, uh, that's going to be at Elm Street. But we do uh, a variety of special events. Um, uh, uh, December twentieth at the Crown. Uh, sorry, December twentieth at the Radisson. We're doing a Glenn Miller big band show. Oh, nice! And so it's going to be Christmas with Glenn Miller. Do you have any singers to go? Uh, we do. Yeah. We have a we have a singer that's going to sing some tunes for us. There's going to be dancing. Uh, so we're not just the just the symphony orchestra that that sits on the stage and, and plays the Beethoven, which that's that's our that's our mainstay. Mm -hmm. But we do big band music. We do jazz. We do um, chamber music. It's uh, we really we want to be the full spectrum of music. Yeah, now, you've got a master's degree in music, don't you? I do, I yeah. do. And you, you're, you played trombone for the Air Force? I did, yes, I, I did. Uh, yes, for four years I was a trombone player in an Air Force band. Uh, you got to travel and see the world? I, well, not the world, but the country. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it was, I count it as, as one of the, the best experiences of my life. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for your service, oh. for one. <laughs> but uh, that's, uh, you know, my dad, I, like I said off camera, he played for the Air Force, uh, played saxophone and... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, according to him, you had to be pretty good to get into that, <laughs> that band. So uh, you must be pretty... Do you play for the symphony as well? I don't. Uh, in my role as director of operations, I, um, I, I have more going on than I have time uh, to do as it is, right. much less play in the orchestra. But uh, um, we have incredible musicians that, that more than capably fill in where I can't, I can't perform. I do play in other groups uh, outside, uh, but it would just be too tough to try to, to run the production for a concert right. and try to be a musician. Now, is that like punk rock or something like that? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Not on a trombone. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Well, you never know. That, uh, right. right. They, they can electrify it or whatever. So uh, any events coming up in January? Any? Uh, any uh... We do, yes. Um, so as I mentioned, we have the Glenn Miller Show coming up at the Radisson on December 20th, 7.30 p.m. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, January will bring the orchestra back around uh, January 25th at, at Elm Street uh, at Keefe Auditorium, and uh, uh, that'll that'll be the full orchestra on stage at 8 p.m. on on Saturday evening, um, 
And uh, we, we have another full slate uh, of, of two more Masterworks concerts uh, in March and April. Um, we have our annual benefit auction on February 7th, where the big band will play again. Uh, so what is that about, the, the annual auction? What do, you, do people donate to that? Mm -hmm. and yes. How, do, is it all booked up for donations? No. Nope. We're, we're in, the, in, the, in, the, in the initial stages of procuring items for, for, the, uh, for the auction. So we'll have a, a silent auction to begin the night. Uh, we'll move into the ballroom at the Crown Plaza, have dinner, and then there'll be a live auction uh, with some bigger items, and uh, the big band will play, and uh, people dance, and they, they have a lot of fun. So it is a fundraiser for the symphony, but I guarantee you that people have a, a, a great time on top of just supporting a, a, a great cause. Now, you said a silent auction? Mm -hmm. now, how, what, how does that work? Well, we'll just uh, we'll set up tables with items uh, located on, on each table and a bid sheet right next to it. So if someone comes around and says... Uh, uh, there's a great um, uh, set of CDs donated from a local local vendor. Uh, I think that's, you know, I'll put my name in the hat for that. And so at the end of the night, we'll cut it off, and, and the highest bidder on that sheet of paper wins the wins the prize. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. Oh, okay, that's, mm -hmm. there you go. And and like you said, you, what, what are the type of donations that, that they get? Is it uh, um, services, products? Uh, anything and everything that's, that's of value. So, um, uh, Services are great. Uh, we, we've had oil changes donated in the past, massages, uh, spa treatments, um, house cleaning. Um, uh, gift certificates are always great from, from restaurants. Um, our, uh, the feather in our cap this year is a uh, eight-day cruise to the Mediterranean uh, on uh, Viking River Cruises. So that's the real, the real crown jewel that will be sure. at the, the live auction. And, uh, and so it really, it runs the gamut from a $25 gift certificate to a $5,000 cruise. So a little, little something for everyone. Right. Do those generate a, a good amount for the, for the symphony? They do. It, they do. It's our, it's our one big fundraising evening of the year where we, we bring people in and uh, we, we give them dinner and we have lots of great items and we have a lot of fun uh, while supporting the symphony. Now you have 22 or 2,500 of these left. 25, well, we ordered 2,500. We've sold several hundred already. So we're well, well, well into the sales, but uh, uh, we have, uh, they're going fast. Yeah, and they make great Christmas gifts. I know it's a perfect, perfect, perfect Christmas, Christmas gifts. gifts. Right. And, and you know that when you buy this, you're obviously helping out the community. Mm -hmm. And you have a token that the community made. And uh, that's, it, it's a great way to, to support the local people. So I, I, I think it's great. I was looking at some of the pictures inside. Um, but knowing, again, that this is, this is definitely something uh, made by the community, for the mm -hmm. community. Uh, but, well, what we really wanted to do was um, everyone who lives here, we know we have a great community uh, that's, that's rich in history, it's rich in culture, um, uh, and so we wanted to shine a spotlight on it. We thought it was a, there wouldn't be a better town to do something like this where it's small enough that a lot, we all know each other. Mm -hmm. uh, the community is very tightly knit. And, uh, but it's big enough to have lots of really cool things going on. And so that's exactly what this book is about. It's about uh, just the best of Nashua. Uh, and so I, th I think at a certain point, the book kind of just took on a life of its own. And, um, and people got really excited about it. And uh, the end product turned out to be much bigger than the sum of, of the parts right. for us. And uh, we, we really couldn't be more thrilled with how it turned out. So the goal is 2,500 of these need to be 2,500 would be great. <laughs> and uh, maybe, maybe it could be a tradition year sure. after year. That, we'll, uh, print, we'll print 2,500 more. <laughs> right. Wonderful. Uh, any final statements that you want to leave with our guests uh, or, or, or viewers? Uh, I don't think so. I, I think um, we've, we've covered uh, a little bit of everything about what, what Symphony and H is about. Where, uh, we want to be seen as a strong community member, uh, not just for music, but for education, for um, just as a, as, a, as, a, as a pillar in the community mm -hmm. where we, uh, we, we serve as many people as possible. Now, you have a Facebook page, you said? We do. Yeah, we and do. it's called? It's uh, just, uh, I believe it's facebook.com slash symphonynh. Okay. And uh, our website is www.symphonynh.org. Uh, and uh, you, can, you can reach any of us. You can email me right from that page. And, uh, and that, whether a donation or? Uh, absolutely. Everything is on the website. Okay. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Great. Nick, I really appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, fantastic. Thanks for having me. Okay. And uh, that'll do it for now for, for Gate City Chronicles. Please uh, pick up a book at, at your local vendors. 
I believe Sconces was one of them, mm -hmm. and uh, the flower shops. Uh, mm -hmm. Collins, Beckonings, Fort and Gage, Ikebana. And Ikebana. So uh, support your local symphony, and uh, buy, you know, if you have a chance, if you've never been there, try, you know, go. It, it'll uh, uh, surprise you how well uh, they, they do. So until next week, thanks for watching Gate City Chronicles. Gate City Chronicles has been sponsored by Artvark, the Dean of Clean, a local carpet cleaning here in Nashua, New Hampshire. You can contact them at 521-7657. Thank you.